Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from Nailcraft's channel and today is Earth Day. And to celebrate Earth Day, I wanted to make a little easy to make uh, project that is perfect for kids or for anybody really. Um, I don't know if you've seen some of those um, seed pods they have. These are perfect for kids to learn how to garden. Uh, and they have different containers you just put right into the ground and the seed uh, it dissolves and then you have your garden. They're kind of pricey because I've seen them at um, Home Depot and they were like $4.50 for each little pot. Sometimes they go on sale. But anyway, I decided why not use a product that you already have. These are the tape, paper towel, uh, excuse me, paper, toilet paper rolls. Use those up and make your own little seed pots for a fraction of the cost. I mean, these are just pennies to make each. So I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and let's get the party started. Okay, to begin, I'm just going to show you the supplies we're going to need. I'm using this potting mix, um, but if you want, you can use regular soil if you already have like a compost mix. And so I'm just using this because it's easy to get in there. You're going to need um, toilet paper roll or it could be paper towel. For this one, depending on uh, if you read the instructions on your um, packet, like this one tells you to put your seeds one quarter of an inch below the soil. So we don't need to do, we could get three of them here. It's not going to be a problem. And then this one for my peppers, it also says one quarter of an inch. You're going to need um, some glue, your scissors to cut your um, toilet paper roll. You could use either tissue paper or uh, you could recycle paper that you've written on or whatever this is just it'll all um it'll all fall apart when it's in the dirt i think it's easier to use the toilet paper because it's easier to kind of fold it over and then um so that's all you need just the paper your seeds your glue scissors and then some kind of potting mix or dirt um if you're going to use regular dirt then you're going to want to use something a little bit stronger because it tends if you could if you stuff it too hard it might tear the bottom Okay, so I hope, so those are our supplies, so let's get started. Okay, to begin, since this is too long, I'm just going to kind of press it down a little bit. I don't want it to lose the shape, but I'm going to cut it into three parts, okay? So like, I'm not even going to measure. I just think this is probably about the right. You don't need it to be too deep, because remember, that it only needs to be about, from my seeds, it only needs to be a quarter of an inch below the soil. So once I have my little pieces like this, I'm going to go ahead and give them shape again. And let me get a little bit closer, maybe. Oh, I guess this is okay. Now I'm going to get the paper. You're going to cut some of your tissue paper just to be able to go around here. This is actually pretty long. I mean, it's not, it doesn't need to be that big. So maybe I'm going to cut a little bit off just to make it easier to go around. So I'm going to get my tissue paper. I think this is a, I might even be able to get two pieces out of here. I'm going to get the glue. I'm using just regular white glue, tacky glue. You could either make your own with uh, flour and water. You know how you, if you mix flour and water, it gets that little st sticky um, texture. And then I'm just going to put it, the glue around the bottom here. Okay. So once you get it, I'm just going to put it down on my paper. Let me put this other blue paper so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm putting my thing here and I'm just going to fold up the tissue paper so that it could get stuck on the glue. No special way, just get it kind of on there. Fold it over, see, just like that. You just want to make sure that it gets all of the edges. I think, um, let me put this. I'm missing a little bit of glue right here, so I'm going to put a little bit there because I didn't get that little, because you need to make sure you go around the whole edge, just like that. And then these little pieces, I'm just going to fold them down because I'm going to glue the top part here, or I could cut these tips off that are too long. Okay, so once you've got these glued down, you let them dry a little while, and then you're going to go ahead and start filling it up with your potting soil or the potty mix that you have. I have this mix, which is the potty mix from, I know it's Miracle Grow, I don't get paid money from them or anything, but if you have just regular soil, you could do that, or you could also do it with the peat moss. I mean, it's gonna get kind of messy maybe, so 
I just want to put it here. Okay, and then I'm going to just start filling it up with soil. Not all the way to the top because I need a quarter of an inch a top hat. So here, let me show you how I fill this up. You can see the soil in there. Just like that. And then once I have my soil, I'm going to put the seeds in here. My soil is there. I'm going to get some of my seeds that have that um, thing here. So you could see that the bottom tissue paper is holding the soil. Before I forget, I'm going to mark when I get my um, my seeds here, the, I'm going to put in some peppers. So I'm just going to put with a marker somewhere on the side. You could push down, fold down that little piece of paper. I'm just going to write right here, peppers. Because if you're not going to plant them right away, I might forget what's in each one. So I'm just going to put peppers there. Or once you finish filling it up, you could also write it here. Be very careful not to push through the through the tissue paper. So if you mark what each of your little pots is going to contain. Now I could get my seeds. This is going to be about maybe put a little bit more there. I'm going to get my seeds, and this is only a quarter of an inch. Because remember, kids like to garden, but sometimes it's hard for them because trying to determine like how deep and how to space them. So here I'm only going to put about three plants. Once they grow up, three seeds, excuse me. Once they grow, then you can thin it. Thin them down so you don't need three pepper plants in one thing. But I want to make sure that you have a good chance of them growing. So I just put in three seeds there. Can you see that? And now I'm going to cover it up with about a quarter inch of soil, which is about there. And then now, I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side, on the bottom. Just being careful, put your glue here, all the way around. Make sure you have enough. I saw these little seed pods they were selling at Home Depot and I thought, wow, they're kind of expensive. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just like a cheap person. I'm thinking at my life. But this is great for Earth Day. Now get your next little piece, put it on top, hold it down just like you did the bottom piece. See there? Hold them down. That's why I said you might want to put um your name of your um seeds on the bottom or the see now you know that the this is that and here. I'm going to write on here, top, meaning that this goes to the top. I know that this is the bottom, okay? I could write peppers here too if I want, because I just realized I covered my pepper. Okay, usually I don't even put the, the name because I lay them on the uh, old uh, cupcake tin that I have marked. So then now, your pepper, your little planting pot is ready. This has peppers. I have three seeds in there. Once it grows through the through the ground, you can thin them out. This is all biodegradable, so the this um, toilet paper roll will dissolve. The this of course will dissolve the tissue paper. Once you're ready to plant them in, you just plant them in to the level here of your little pot. So this would be the like. Let's pretend my hand is the soil. I'm going to plant them just about like that, just so I just see the top. And then you can just paste them on your soil and your pots are ready. I think this is a really fun, easy way to recycle, save the earth, grow your little plants. I have some tomatoes. You have different things. Just keep into account how deep it is. This is super easy for kids. They're going to love it. They can just plant their own little garden. And they don't have to worry about how deep to do it. Just put it. It's already done. Just put it to the level of the soil. Water it, it'll all get, you can start watering on top. It doesn't matter, your soil is gonna get wet. And this will dissolve and your plant will grow and you'll have a nice little garden. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, for Earth Day. Please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and remember always that God loves you.